Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to discuss all about the DESIS Ascend Educare program, which is a program by DE Shaw, uh, wherein you get mentorship from DE Shaw engineers. And after getting a six month mentorship, you can land uh, an internship or a full time job at DE Shaw. So for that, we have with us Sejal. So Sejal here is uh, currently an intern at Atlassian and she was selected for the DESIS Ascend Educare program. So she is the best person to tell us how to, uh, you know, get selected, what is the whole process and everything. So welcome, Sejal. Yeah, thank you. And hello, everyone. So first of all, Sejal, tell me what is the program about? Like, why should someone apply for it? Yeah. So like this program is a six months mentorship program, and it is for the women in tech who are currently in their second and third year of four year course. So like there is a mentorship program, so you guys can apply to it and you will get a mentor in the mentorship program and then they will guide you. There will be many courses, so you will get a lot to learn and there are many benefits also. So like uh, one should apply to it. Okay, okay, definitely. So I'll also link, uh, leave the link to apply in the description. So do check that out and uh, there is no deadline, so it might get over very soon. So apply it as soon as you can, right? Uh, and next, tell me that, you know, uh, what is the program structure and what's the eligibility? What are the benefits and all? Yeah. So like for the eligibility, any woman who is in second or third year in BTEC, BE or can apply to it. And there is some more eligibility. If you are an MC candidate in second or third year or MTEC, you can also apply to it. So like all the eligibility is mentioned in the uh, program brochure and uh, like the structure is uh, like it is a six months program. So you get to learn many things. There will be some technical courses, non-technical courses, and uh, many sessions with uh, their leaders or senior engineers. And uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So it seems like a great opportunity and you can get an intern or a full-time also. So definitely check that out. And uh, apart from that, so tell me that how, first of all, what is the first step? Like uh, how do you, fill your uh, application so how did you do that yeah so like there is an application form and it requires your resume college transcripts uh, and there are two essays and all the personal details so you can go and fill all the details and you can write both the essays and uh, you can uh, like uh, you can just submit all the college transcripts and all and uh, like after the uh, submission of this application form there will be an online coding round so like those who were selected shortlisted from the application form, they will have to, they will have a hacker and coding test. Like in that coding test, there will be five MCQs of aptitude and it will cover the topics of probability, permutation and combination, profit and loss. And there will be one technical MCQ. It will be based on some uh, easy topic of DSA, like a basic MCQ. And there will be three coding questions. And uh, like the level of the questions will be easy to medium for second year and uh, approx medium to hard for third years. So you have to complete the whole test in two hours, 40 minutes for the aptitude and technical MCQ and uh, the rest time for the uh, coding questions. So it will be conducted on the hackering platform only. So like the cutoff for the test will be like those who will solve 2.5 or more questions will be selected for the interview round. And there will be two interviews. The first one will be the technical round and the second will be the personal round. So in the technical interview, they will mainly focus on the data structures and algorithms. So like I was asked two questions of DSA and some theory based questions of DSA, like based on arrays, linked list, stack and queue. So you have to solve both the questions of DSA in the given time, like the time for the interview was 45 minutes. So you have to solve both the questions and uh, like you have to code it also and uh, dry run also. And those who were um, like shortlisted from the technical interview, they will have their HR round. And in the HR round, they basically ask some questions from resume, from your college life, and some projects that you have done, and uh, any teamwork, any example of team teamwork. And they also ask some situation-based questions. Yeah, so like after HR round, uh, you get the final results. Okay, okay. So uh, basically, you have told the whole uh, structure. So first of all, you have to fill the application. So tell me that, you know, once you fill the application, how many people get the coding round link? Like that to everyone, 
get it or some people get it and some don't like aprox everyone gets the link who is eligible they get okay. the link okay okay so getting the link is easy so basically uh, the main elimination is done in the coding round so how did you prepare for the coding round like if someone is in the second year or third year so how did you prepare for that okay like for coding round there will be some mcqs so for mcqs you can some practice uh, aptitude uh, topics like uh, profit and loss and permutation combination and for this you can practice online like you can solve some mcqs and some learn the basic formulas and you will get it and uh, like for dsa dsa coding questions like uh, if you practice on lead code the level will be um, like approx lead code easy to medium level so you can practice some questions on lead code and gfg and to learn the dsa topics you can refer to gfg or some youtube playlist okay okay and i think you should also give lead code contests because they are like very helpful to do yeah. questions in a timely manner and also can you tell the questions that were asked in your interview like the dsa questions that were asked in your interview if you remember them yeah so like i was asked two dsa question the first one was uh, like it is marked easy on lead code and it is like related to arrays and uh, Uh, like array and two pointer algorithm it was a question and uh, like i just first gave the brute force and then he uh, the, then he asked me about the time complexity and then he asked me to optimize it so uh, like it was based on two pointer algorithm so i told him the optimized approach and its complexity then he asked me to code it and then i coded the optimized approach and uh, like dry run over some test cases uh, that he gave to me and the second question was based on stacks stacks and sorting so uh, like same i first told him the brute force and its complexity then he asked me to optimize it so like i told him the optimize optimize approach but he didn't ask me to code it uh, the second question so i only told the approach optimize approach and also dry run uh, like only orally dry run on a, a test case okay so do you know the questions also like if you can tell the exact questions or you have forgotten yeah. them like first question was to sum like it's the first question on lead code okay. it is a easy level question and the second question was uh, like merge intervals like which is a uh, medium on lead code okay okay so great so i think yeah so practice on lead code should be good enough and uh, apart from that uh, okay so you, once you cleared the rounds now what happened in the mentorship like how was the six month mentorship experience yeah so like the mentorship is started uh, there were some sessions like in production and all some onboarding type of sessions and then there were some many courses like all the courses were held on the weekends only there is a session of 3 hours to 2 3 hours on every weekend and uh, like all the courses were live courses nothing was uh, recorded and all so all the courses were live courses and uh, like we were provided a mentor for every course like they used to teach us on every weekend so the courses were of dsa system design object oriented programming and some general softwares yeah and some competitive programming courses and uh, in non technical courses there were presentation skills communication skills these courses were there so and at the end of mentorship there was a hackathon where we need to build up a project in a group uh, in a group so like we were in a 5 to 5 girls group and a 5 girl group has a study group mentor so like every week we had a like a catch up with the mentor where we can discuss the things with him and like he used to provide us the feedback and there were also assignments after every course some assignments were individual and some assignments were in group so we need to complete the assignments before the deadline and in the hackathon like we build, uh, like we need to build a project from scratch like we need to decide the what the problem statement is and how we would build the project so we were given approx 1 month for the whole whole project and uh, like yeah this was the whole mentorship okay okay that sounds very fun so uh, once you completed the mentorship then what is the next step to get an internship or say a full time opportunity at de show yeah so like after the mentorship was completed uh, we got the link for the oa round for the summer internship like i was in second year so i got the opportunity to appear in the summer internship application and for third years they will get the link for the test for the full time opportunity so there was an hacker rank test and uh, there were three uh, coding questions and uh, this time the questions were of a medium to hard level so yeah so like there were questions and those who solved uh, more than 2 or 2.5 they got the interview link so there were two interviews both were technical round 
and i gave the technical round one interview and uh, like i was not selected for the second round yeah thank you so much sejal for sharing your experiences with us and uh, i hope you all will apply for the de shop program and get selected also so if anyone wants to reach out to sejal for any questions or anything you can definitely do that so i'll post her linkedin uh, profile link in the description so thank you so much sejal so guys how did you like the video uh, do comment and tell me and subscribe to the channel because we have many interesting experiences coming up i will be sharing my google interview experience i will be sharing uh, some other very interesting podcasts are lined up i have thought of a lot of things so do subscribe to the channel and when you subscribe to the channel it also gives me some motivation to you know continue because it's very difficult to continue recording videos you know especially when you are going for a job from 9 to 5 always just the beginning but i already feel very tired so i just have the weekends so if you want to you know if you like the channel so do subscribe thank you so much and meet you in another video